Hello and welcome. My name is Scott Tiffany, Librarian and Director of Information Services here at the American Philatelic Research Library. As Library Director of the APRL and on behalf of the staff here in the library, it is my distinct pleasure to announce some very exciting news regarding the David Strait Memorial Philatelic Union Catalog. Starting Monday, February 1st, the Union Catalog, the catalog that many of you use to access and request materials from the APRL, will have a new home on a new platform. The new catalog will look a little different from the current one, but the platform we selected for the online catalog, Genie Plus, is a much more robust platform and includes many features and flexibility for both our library patrons in using the catalog as well as for the library staff in populating and maintaining the ever-growing online catalog. Up to 1992, the APRL cataloged the library collection using a combined card catalog and standalone in-house database system. It was decided at that time in 1992 that the library needed a much more stable platform and a platform that would allow the APRL to share its records online. Early in 1992, the APRL began searching for a software platform in order to better catalog its collection and to make those catalog records available to our library members and patrons. At that time, the In Magic Genie platform was selected and starting in October of 1992, the APRL began the transition from the card catalog database system to an online union catalog by entering its first records into the new online catalog. With these first cataloged records, the David Strait Memorial Philatelic Union Catalog was born. In the almost 30 years since, the online catalog has grown to include not only the APRL's records, but also those of 12 other partnering philatelic libraries here in the US, Canada, and Great Britain. From that time to today, the online catalog has grown to include over 387,000 bibliographic records documenting the library holdings of the APRL and our other partnering philatelic libraries. With the ever-growing size of the catalog, an upgrade of its platform is necessary in order for the catalog to remain stable and robust, as well as to provide for its future growth. Beginning in December of 2019, the APR APRL began the task of searching for a new software to host the online catalog. After evaluating a number of products, the APRL selected the Genie Plus platform from library automation vendor Lucidia for its flexibility, robust infrastructure, and functionality. In 2020, the library staff began the task of designing populating and finalizing the online catalog on its new platform. Marion Mills, Technical Services Coordinator here at the APRL, spearheaded the new implementation of the Genie Plus platform, coordinating efforts with Lucidia and our other philatelic library partners, culminating in this year's rollout of the new online catalog set for Monday, February 1st. In this brief video, we would like to introduce you to the new online catalog and show you some of its features. In future videos and news items on the APS website, we will go into more detail about these features, such as searching the online catalog, submitting library requests through the online catalog, requesting items from the APRL collection, and much, much more. With that, let's have a look. So here we are on the home page of the American Philatelic Society. And in order to find the Philatelic Union Catalog now, we would go under Services. And from the list that appears, we would scroll down to Library and click on Library. And this will take us to the website for the American Philatelic Research Library. If we scroll down the page, in the second section titled Accessing Our Library Collections, the first item in that section is something titled Search Our Library Holdings Using the Online Catalog. If we click the link for Online Catalog, it takes us to the current home for the David Strait Memorial Philatelic Union Catalog. Here's the basic search screen. Uh, here's where we could do a very simple search if we type in this text box some terms. 
we could select the library that we want to search, in this case, the APRL, and we would hit Submit Query, and that would do a very basic search of the Union Catalog. If we wanted a few more search options, we can click on this link for a search to advanced, switch to advanced search, and it would give me a, us a few more fields in terms of title, author, subject, and once we're happy with the terms that we put in, we could select our library again and then submit query. Also on this first page of the current union catalog, we have a link for searching duplicate items for sale. We could click on that link and it takes us to a search page where we can type in terms and do a search, submit our query, and we could see what items are for sale with those search terms. Also on the current union catalog, we have on the right hand side of the page, we have links for the current member libraries that are in the union catalog who have catalog records into the union catalog. And at any point we can click on one of these links, gives us a little more information about that particular library, some contact information, as well as um, a brief description of their holdings. So that's the current union catalog as it exists now. If we go back to the library page, if we scroll down the page again, on Monday, February 1st, when you click on the link for Union Catalog, instead of being taken to the current Union Catalog, you'll be taken to this page. This is the new platform for the David Strait Memorial Philatelic Union Catalog. What you'll see is a lot of the same information on this first page. We have a brief description on this first page of the catalog itself. We also have a description of some of the items that are in the database. We have the 12 other member libraries that have catalog records into the database, as well as the types of materials that are in the database, books, journal articles, journals, all those types of materials that are in the union catalog that you can search. Underneath that, we have a list of the, of the libraries that have cataloged their records into the catalog. Uh, and again, we have links for each of those libraries. If we click on a link, we can see that same uh, description of the library as well as contact information. Uh, following that on this page, we have a brief paragraph, paragraph about how to request things from the union catalog, specifically how to request items from the Union Catalog from the APRL collection. At the bottom of the page, we have a link for our services and fees for the APRL. Many of you have asked, uh, what are the services that we provide and what are the charges for those services? So we have that link right here. If we click on that link, it gives us uh, the various services that we provide uh, and top, and top, how we go about searching the catalog, how we go about borrowing books, requesting scans or photocopies, as well as research requests that you can make of the library. Underneath that, if we scroll down the page a little more, here are our user fees. Uh, we have fees for both members and non-members. Only APS members and library members can borrow materials from the library, but we do provide services for non-members as well. And these are the fees for those services for members and non-members. Uh, here on the left-hand side of the page, as many of you know, we honor David Strait by naming the Memorial Philatelic Union Catalog in his name. Uh, David was a longtime APS and APRL member. He was a librarian himself. He was a strong supporter of the APRL and particularly the Union Catalog. And so we honor him, we continue to honor him by having his name in the title of our Union Catalog. If you want to find a little bit more information about David, there's a link underneath his picture and you can click on that and see a little more information about David. So on this page, there's a couple of other things I want to show you on this first landing page. If you want to do a very simple search of the catalog, you can do that here in this text box. You can type in some search terms and then you can click search and search the catalog that way. That's very similar to the first page I showed you in the current union catalog where you can do a basic search and you can just search on some terms. Um, across the top of the page, you'll notice these, as you move your cursor over them, these tabs appear for advanced search, popular searches, online resources, new resources, my book bag, and used books for sale. 
And I'm going to go through these each one by one, very simple, very basic. I'll go into a little more detail in future videos. So if I click on advanced search, it takes me to the advanced search page of the Memorial Union Catalog. And here's where we can do just as we could in the current Union Catalog. We can sort of search in various fields of the catalog. Uh, gives us a lot more options in terms of searching, and I'll go into a little more detail in future videos. We can always add more fields if we want to. If we have a really complex search that we want to do of the Union Catalog, but I'm going to do just, we can also take away the number of fields as well. I'm going to do a search that I've already pre-planned. I'm going to look for the fundamentals of philately, a very common book. So I'm going to look for, in the all fields, I'm going to look for library. I want to find this in the APRL collection. I'm going to search in the titles field for the term fundamentals in the title. And in the authors field, I'm going to look for Williams. It's written by the Williams brothers. So when I'm happy with my search terms, I can click search and it gives a list of the additions that we have of fundamentals philately in the APRL collection, it appears below. So in the list, it goes, it, it provides information about the title, about the authors, about the cataloging numbers, the publisher, the publishing date, uh, the format of the material, in this case, a book, in some cases, it gives an image of the cover of the book, as well as the library that it's found in. I searched in the APRL. At any point, I can click on any one of these things as I highlight them. If I click on that, it gives a little more detail about that item. So that's how you would do an advanced search. Uh, another option that you have when the records come back and you see a list of your records that you've done following a search, I can switch the layout. So if I don't like the way they display in this particular way, I can click on this link titled Switch Layout, and it'll change how those same records appear on the screen. Gives me a little easier way to look at the records if, that, if I find that an easier way sort of to look at my records. The next tab at the top of this page that we can highlight is called Popular Searches. So this is a page. We haven't filled out this page a lot yet. This is where the library staff are going to put in some of the more popular searching that's done in the catalog. So say we find a lot of people looking for uh, introductory sort of materials about stamp collecting or philately. So we can put a search in here titled Introduction to Philately. And you could click on that search in this drop down menu and you would have that search available to search on for some of the more popular uh, introductory sort of texts or books about philately or stamp collecting. We could put things about, say, American revenues or the postal history of Germany or something like that. Whatever we find might be a popular search, uh, some search terms that people would use on a regular basis. So this is something we're still in, in the process of filling out. The next tab at the top of the page that we can highlight is titled Online Resources. This is a feature that we're really excited about that we couldn't do in the current Union Catalog. So what this does is it prepares a list of all those items in the Union Catalog which have links to where this particular item may be found on the internet, may be found on one of our servers here at the APS, wherever it may be found in digital form. So these are all those items. If we scroll down this list and say I want to look at this particular exhibit, this is an exhibit titled Romania 1858 to 1872. It gives a brief description of the item, in this case, the exhibit. But the final field in this record is something titled URL. If I click on the link in that field, it actually takes me to the exhibit. So I can scroll through the exhibit and actually see the exhibit right from the catalog record. This is something we did have as a feature in the current catalog, but it wasn't as seamless. It wasn't as simple to do as going to the top of the page and clicking on a tab and then seeing those items. There's about 950 of these in the catalog currently. This is something that we're constantly growing and it will constantly grow in the weeks and years to come. And we'll add to this all the time so that instead of just sort of 
requesting this item from the library, you can click on a link and there's that item if it's available in digital form. The next tab at the top of the screen that we can highlight is something titled New Resources. Again, this is a new feature in the online catalog that we couldn't do in the current union catalog. This presents a list of all the things that have been newly cataloged into the database. So if you want to find something that's newly been put into one of the catalogs of say the APRL or the NPM or the Royal, this is where you would find that. So these are in real time, these are chronologically a list of the items that are newly cataloged into the database. So if you wanted to see just those records for the APRL, you can sort with these um, links at the top of the page. So if I scroll all the way over here to the far side where it says library, and I click on that, it'll sort this list alphabetically by library. And since APRL is the first library that comes up alphabetically, we can see all the records here that are currently have been cataloged into the APRL collection. And this just isn't one page, there's a number of pages. As you can see, we can click at any point on the different pages of this list. It's a fairly lengthy list. If I wanna see a little more information about any one of these records, I just click on them and it gives me a little more information about these records that have been newly cataloged into the database. So a really great feature to sort of see what's coming into the collection on a regular basis. Uh, the next uh, tab I can, I can click on at the top of the screen is something called My Book Bag. My Book Bag is very similar to what we have in the current catalog when we put something into our cart. So say we make a request, we wanna borrow three or four books from the APRL collection, and we put them into our cart and then we submit that as a request to the library. So in the current catalog, that same process is called my book bag. So I've previously put uh, the fundamentals of philately into my book bag. If I had done a search on the advanced search page and there's a, a link there where I can say, add this to my book bag, I, I already added that to my book bag. So here it is in my book bag already. If I wanna submit that as a request to the library, I wanna borrow this book, I check the little checkbox here at the left-hand side of the page. I click on this link, submit query. And here's how I go about submitting that to the library as a request. Here's the item as it appears in the request. I would fill out this contact information, click submit, and it would submit it to the library. And then we would go about finding this book for you and sending it out to you for borrowing. Uh, there's also an option in the book bag when you go about purchasing items that we have for sale, and I'll show you that in a moment. So the next tab at the top of the page that we can highlight is something titled Youth's Books for Sale. So if I click on that one, this is a really great feature. Again, a feature that we couldn't offer in the current online catalog. This is a list of all the items that we currently have for sale in the Union catalog. As many of you know, we get donations to the library all the time. We get members who donate their materials when they're downsizing their philatelic libraries. We get people who no longer want to collect in a particular area, so they send us their philatelic literature. If we can't use the item in our collection, we try to keep two copies of everything, two copies of every book, two copies of every journal issue. If we don't need it as a third copy or if it's an extra copy, we try to repurpose that item and resell it try to get it back into the hands of collectors and people who would like this literature in their personal libraries. So this is where you'll see the inventory of all the items that we have for sale currently at the APRL. And just as you did when you do an advanced search or anything like that, you can just scroll down this list. The one thing that we couldn't do in the current union catalog, I know some of you have requested this, could you send me a list of everything you have for sale in the current catalog? We can't do that in the current sort of software as it, as it exists. In this catalog, we can. We could send you a list or you can just scroll through this list yourself. There's about 14 pages of material. I think we have about 2,300 items currently for sale. And you can just scroll through this list and see what we have for sale. It gives the title, it gives the author, and it gives the, the cost that we're sort of selling that item for and how to request it from us. Uh, you can also do a search of the used books for sale. Here's where you would do that in this text box. 
you would type search and it would search the items in the used books for sale um, database. If at any point you want to see a little bit more information, you can always click on any one of these items and it gives you a little bit more information about these items. Uh, I've already put this first item uh, in my book bag. So if I go back to my book bag and I click on inventory in the scroll down list, there's that item that I've selected for purchase. I would just put a check mark beside that item, click the link for submit request, and it takes me back to that page where we can submit this as a request to the library. I would like to purchase this item. I fill out my contact information here. I can put a little information here about how I'm going to go about paying for it, submit it to the library, and then we would sort of send that out to you with your payment. So that was a basic introduction to the new David Strait Memorial Philatelic Union catalog. Uh, we're really excited about the new catalog. We hope you get a chance to use it and are excited about it too. Uh, in the future, we will have videos on the basics of searching in the catalog, both basic searching and advanced searching, as well as a video about how to make a request of the library, whether it be a research request, a request for borrowing materials from the APRL, or a request for purchasing items from the APRL duplicate inventory. With that, thank you for watching.